Hello friends, happy holidays, and happy Vlogmas day three. Today's Vlogmas episode is gonna be a little bit different than what I've been doing so far because I kind of figured that we all needed just a little bit of a reset and some cleaning motivation to start our week. So today's gonna be just like voiceover style cleaning motivation day, but I will still be sharing a Christmas recipe. If you've been following along, you know I've been sharing a different Christmas recipe in all of my 12 days of Vlogmas videos. So this is day three. And I'm going to share a really unique Christmas recipe towards the end of this video. And then I'm also going to show you how the salt dough ornaments that we made in Vlogmas Day 2 turned out once I painted them and everything. If you haven't watched Vlogmas Day 2, we started some salt dough ornaments that are like imprints of Carter, our 10 month old's feet and hands. And so I'm going to make those into cute little Christmas themed ornaments in this video. But anyways, I just started off by making my bed, which is the best way to start your day. And then I went ahead and started a load of laundry. And next I'm working on tackling this awful counter that has kind of become almost like a junk counter for us. We've just kind of been throwing things up here and we really have been needing to just really organize it because we put papers from the mail up here. We put, you know, it's just kind of that place where we've been throwing things when we just don't have enough time to put things away. But really, we should be putting them away as they collect. So we're going to start trying to be better about that. But for now, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of decluttering. Also, please excuse my obnoxious Christmas leggings, but they're so comfy and I love them. This counter is where Jake likes to put his wallet and work phone and just kind of like all this little stuff you see that would be in his pockets or anything like that when he gets home at the end of the day. So I found this little container that we had just lying around and so I put it all in there so that he has kind of a spot to put it when he gets home so that it doesn't end up cluttering the counter at all. So I think that that's a great tip if you are needing to do some decluttering, especially for the holidays, put everything in containers. It helps so much with the decluttering process. Now I'm moving on to my essential oil corner over here. These essential oils, I'm dusting them because uh, they are a little bit neglected right now this holiday season because I've been using candles a lot. During the summer, I run essential oils like almost every single day, but it gets dusty so fast in our home because we live in the desert and dust just gets dragged in every which way. So they have collected some dust even just in these last two months of burning candles. So I went ahead and dusted those and I'm just trying to make them a little bit more organized. Maybe during like spring clinging, cleaning this year or something like that, I really want to completely reorganize this and set them up in a way where I can see them all in this corner. But for now, I just need them to be organized because there isn't enough time to completely redo this section. I apologize for the weird glare on the counters in this clip. These counters bother me because the, to me, they always seem to look dirty. Even after I clean them, there's just something about the colors that are in them that always makes it look like there's specks of dirt to me. But right now we're renting, so there's nothing I can really do to change that. So I just try and keep them as clean as possible, and I am constantly wiping off invisible pieces of dust and dirt. <laughs>
Alright, moving on to my least favorite task, which is doing the dishes. If you're watching this and you have a least favorite task that needs to be done, pause the video and go do it or play the video while you do it so that you have some entertainment while you get it done. But come on, let's get it done together. All right, now that the dish drying area is clean, I'm just going to unload and then reload the dishwasher. There weren't too many dishes that I needed to hand wash, but I went ahead and washed this water bottle that had been sitting up on the bar for a little bit, and then I had this pan that I had made eggs for Carter in that needed a good scrubbing as well. Next I'm just going to wipe down the areas all the way around the sink and just kind of give that a good scrub. Okay, moving on to the rest of the counter, let me know if you see what I mean about these counters kind of looking dirty even after you've wiped them down. There's something about the glare from the lights above that also mixes with all these different little colors in the granite. It just bothers me for some reason. Let me know if I'm crazy or if you have a tip for minimizing that. Okay, tell me this isn't the best feeling. The kitchen is totally clean. You have nothing cluttering the counters. You have a candle lit and the Christmas tree on in the background. That is perfection. Okay, now it's time to vacuum. And this is one task that honestly I have never really minded. I don't mind vacuuming or mopping. I find it kind of therapeutic. And I really like to turn on music or a show really loud and just like listen to it or watch it while I do this. It's just so relaxing to me. Same with laundry. I love sitting down and folding laundry while I watch a show. That's definitely something that's developed as I've gotten older though. In college, I would never have enjoyed that. If you're wondering what's up with the tape on the wall behind me and the little bows stuck on it, go watch Vlogmas Day 2. After I finished vacuuming, we had quite the busy day, and so it is the evening now, and I have a little bit of an outfit change, but now I am getting to mopping the living room and the kitchen. 
Ever since Carter started crawling, I decided that I wanted to stop using floor cleaners that had a lot of toxic chemicals in them. So I have been using this combination of warm water, rubbing alcohol, dish soap, and a little bit of cleaning vinegar. And that has been working really well for me. It's hard to tell in this video, but the floors really do shine after I use this mixture and it works really, really well. Okay, this dang high chair, I feel like I am vacuuming in and around it 17 times a day. This boy can eat some food and he can also drop some food. He like shoves food in these little cracks back behind the high chair and then when I set him in it before I give him food, he picks things out and tries to eat them. It's, it's funny until it's not funny and I don't catch him before he puts like an old piece of macaroni and cheese in his mouth. One spot that I didn't realize that I really needed to be cleaning daily is this little basket below the high chair. Normally food gets all over the floor, um, but we have just like some wipes, some puffs, and then Carter always puts a few toys in here. But I didn't realize how much food had collected at the bottom of this. You're gonna be so grossed out, I'm so sorry. But I realized I need to be vacuuming and emptying this on the daily as well. Okay, we're almost done with the cleaning and decluttering for the day. I'm just going to declutter our coffee table a little bit. We just kind of had collected some things on it throughout the day. So I'm putting away Carter's little books, this random chocolate, just kind of all these little things that have collected on it. Okay, time for the fun part, Vlogmas Day 3 Christmas recipe. Today's is a little bit unique because it's a cocktail actually, and it's one that we served at our wedding. We did his and hers Christmas cocktails, and this was mine. It's a pink peppermint cocktail. You'll need a shot of creme de cacao, a shot of peppermint schnapps, or candy cane vodka, which is just vodka soaked and candy canes for 30 minutes. Then you'll need about two shots of half and half or heavy whipping cream, an ounce of vanilla simple syrup, and then a candy cane to garnish. And if you just leave this drink for a little bit with peppermint schnapps, it'll turn pink after a little bit. But if you want it to be pink immediately, just use the candy cane vodka. Okay, time to sit down and drink our cocktail while we craft. We're going to finish up these salt dough ornaments and I'm not going to tell you exactly what they are supposed to be yet because I want you to like watch it unfold as I paint them. But this one on the left that I'm working on right now is Carter's handprint. It's just upside down in case you couldn't tell what that was. And then obviously the one on the right is his foot. If you want to attempt these salt dough ornaments, I would suggest making yours a little bit thinner than mine are because mine took way too long to harden in the oven, like way longer than what the instructions said that it should take. So I think that I made them just a little bit too thick. And also I don't know what that weird little circle is in the middle of his hand, but I'm just choosing to ignore it and pretend it's not there. Okay, please don't judge my painting skills. I really am not an artist, but this was honestly super fun and relaxing to do at the end of the night.
Okay, hopefully now you can tell that that first one is a little Santa. I think he turned out super cute. I mean, obviously I don't have the most perfect art skills and it's also made out of salt dough, so it wasn't the smoothest surface, but I think it turned out really cute and it'll be a cute little memory of how big his little hand was at 10 months old. Okay, so the one on the right is supposed to be Rudolph, a cute little reindeer, and I'm telling you this now because I totally didn't realize that there was something wrong with my camera when I tried to video me adding the little antlers, so that clip is not in here because it was totally messed up. So I just took some pipe cleaners and I twisted little pieces around a bigger piece. You'll see what it looks like at the end, but I just cut little pieces and twisted them around to make the antler look, if that makes sense. And then to hang them, you can either poke a hole through them before they harden, or you can just hot glue some ribbon on them like I did. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Vlogmas Day 4 is going to actually be our travel day to Utah, and it will be just me and Carter traveling to Utah together. We're going to spend about two weeks there in Utah with my family doing all of the fun Christmassy things. So I hope that you will follow along and enjoy the rest of the Vlogmas season with us. And if you're needing some more cleaning and decluttering motivation, there will be another one of those videos towards the end of this month as well. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll like and subscribe. See you next time.